The ignition switch allows you to turn your small engine's ignition on and off. The ignition switch is a simple toggle switch. A grounding wire attaches to both sides of it. When the tool is running, the switch prevents current from flowing through it. When you flip the switch to the off position, it allows current to flow through, grounding the ignition coil to the tool's frame, stopping the flow of current to the spark plug. The most common symptom of a bad ignition switch is a tool that can be started, but then doesn't turn off when the switch is flipped. Replacing the ignition switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the air filter cover and the air filter from the saw. Now remove the top motor cover. With the motor cover removed, now I have access to the switch and its wires. I'll remove the nut that secures the switch to the housing. Now I can pull the switch and its wires away from the housing. One of the wires attaches to the switch with a large washer. I'll go ahead and remove it. The other uses a slide-on connector. Now I can install the new switch. I'll replace the slide-on connector, remove the new nut that comes with the switch, reinstall the washer, and now install the switch back into the housing. and I'll secure the switch to the housing with the nut. I'll tuck the wires back into the housing, and now I can reinstall the cover. As I install the cover, I'll make sure that I slide the spark plug wire grommet into the slot on the cover. I'll align the cover with the housing, and secure it back into place with the screws. Reconnect the spark plug wire, replace the air filter, and finish with the air filter cover. And that's how easy it is to replace the ignition switch on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.